In this video, I'm going to show you 10 essential EQ tips which may help you get that crisp and clear mix you've always wanted. EQ arguably is the single most important mixing tool available to you as a producer, so it goes without saying that it's essential to know how to use it correctly. So without further ado, here's my top 10 EQ tips. Number 1. Avoid massive cuts and boosts unless they're absolutely necessary. Generally, an adjustment of just a few dB will be enough. Keep in mind that your ears are easily fooled by anything louder sounding better and boosting frequencies with EQ also will make it louder. So it's easy to get carried away with lots of unnecessary EQ boosts on everything. Number two, stay away from the solo button. When applying EQ to a track, try doing so while the whole track is playing. What counts in the end is how it sounds in the mix. Use the solo button primarily to identify problem areas in the sound. Number three, the low end is often the most problematic part of the mix, and you should try to aim for clarity rather than just lots of woofing. When a track sounds muddy or muffled, it's usually caused by a buildup of frequencies in the low end area. In order to get a tight and clear low end, you should always low cut anything that's not a bass sound. This will make room for your kick and your bass to punch through in the mix. Number four. It's always better to remove frequencies you don't want to hear rather than boost the good ones. As I mentioned earlier, raising the volume of something can make it difficult to distinguish whether the end result is better or just louder. Number five, when using reverb, always make sure to low cut the reverb itself as it will often add unwanted low end rumble. Number six, don't EQ blindly because you think it's always needed. Some sounds don't need any EQing at all. More often than not, a slight low or high cut is all that is needed. Number seven, be very careful when using EQ during mastering. You should only have to use very minor EQ adjustments during the mastering process. If you feel you need to boost or cut significantly during mastering, then there's something clearly wrong with the mix and you should go back and fix it there instead. Number eight, always keep in mind that even a low dip can amplify the highs and vice versa. Number nine, a good rule of thumb for EQing is to cut narrow and boost wide. Number 10, if you want to help your vocals or your main leads to cut through the mix, you may want to add a little boost at the frequency where the main body of the sound resides. In that case, you should make a similar cut in any sound in the background that could potentially be conflicting with them. This will make more space in that frequency range, helping them cut through the mix better. I hope this was helpful. If you need my professional feedback on your tracks, mastering, or auto-tuning of vocals, then check out my gigs on Fiverr. You can find the link in the description below. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you'll get notified the next time I upload a video. I'd like to thank my Patreons who help make these videos possible. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then you can head over there to Patreon and donate. As always, if there's any specific tutorial you'd like me to make, or if you have a question, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.